Like so many cities, Buffalo, New York is struggling with an opioid crisis, losing one person a day to drug overdoses. But a new program there is trying to change that with the country's first opioid court. The idea is to start intervention immediately after users are arrested, getting them treatment inside the justice system. It's part of a growing national experiment. Gabe Gutierrez has details. All right, how are you feeling today? Inside this courtroom in Buffalo, Keep up the good work. Judge Craig Hanna is on a personal mission. I think our job as a judge is, is not to hurt people. It's just to make sure they come out of here better than they came in. He's presiding over the nation's first opioid crisis intervention court of its kind. Unlike typical drug courts, this program gets users into treatment within hours of their arrest, not weeks. It requires detox, strict curfews, and checking in with Judge Hanna every day for a month. Our main goal is to keep our participants alive. So far, they've succeeded. Since it kicked off May 1st, none of the nearly 80 participants has overdosed. For you, this is a life and death struggle. Every day. Every day. All day, every day. Ron Wood says his heroin use started with an addiction to painkillers following cancer treatments, and that Judge Hanna helped That's save his argument. life. Especially when I found out he was a recovering addict, my whole outlook changed. That's right. In his younger years, Judge Hanna says he himself abused cocaine and marijuana. I didn't know I was addicted because it becomes so part or so much of a part of your life. His program is now funded by a three-year, $300,000 Justice Department grant. What makes it unique is that it is one of a kind right now. Do I think it can be replicated? Most certainly. It's part of a growing movement nationwide to come up with new ways to fight the opioid crisis. Eight other states have announced they'll study how to expand treatment within the criminal justice system. I think the tide is changing in our country that you can't lock away an addict. You have to give treatment. How important is that personal connection? I think that's the most important part. They're me. The only difference between myself and one of the participants is time and what you do with that time in between. In this court, the defendants aren't the only ones getting credit for time served. We're we'll always still gonna be here for you. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Buffalo, New York. And still to